This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of how one can use YouTube Live. Now, it's important to note that actually, if you have a school Google account or even a personal Google account, YouTube is actually one of your apps in the Google Suite. So once you have a Gmail account, you automatically have a YouTube account. Now, if you've never used this YouTube account, when you go to click over to YouTube here and you want to create video, you are going to need to verify your account, which takes up to 24 hours. And then you'll be able to either go live or upload your own videos to YouTube. I've already done this process, so I can simply just go right out to YouTube and you'll notice my little Google avatar that I have in this top right corner stays because this is my YouTube account. Now I'm going to show you how to go live with YouTube, which is a really great feature because you can stream your recording live, you can invite others to come to it, or you can simply just video and it will record it and you can send it out later. When you have a YouTube Live, you can invite people to come watch it live and it opens up a chat window and they can even ask you questions throughout. So let's say you wanted to do a lesson, people could join the live lesson, it will record it for you, students or colleagues can ask questions, and then after you have the recording and people can join later too. So I'm simply going to hit this little video here. Now it's important to know I am on a Chromebook. You cannot access YouTube live on a mobile device unless you have an eligible account. And this is usually for streamers that have over a thousand subscribers. So most likely for the purposes that I'm using this and the audience I'm showing this to, you do not have an account that would be eligible to, to use YouTube live on a mobile device, meaning a tablet or phone. But I am on a Chromebook and it works perfectly fine on a Chromebook or a PC with a webcam. So I'm simply going to hit go live. And here's where it's important. You're going to want to choose the webcam option. You are not going to want to choose the stream option, which I know can be a little bit misleading because technically you are live streaming, but we want to use webcam. Now, once we have the webcam option, we'll create our title. And you'll notice it's pulling up my webcam in the background already. See, you can see my hands. And I'm going to make this unlisted. Here's where it's really important. Let's say you're an educator. Um, you may want to use unlisted. And this is so only those you send the link to can access your video. And I find that important because my video isn't intended for the entire public audience. So I'm going to go unlisted. And I can even schedule this. So if I want to invite people to come see my lesson or my YouTube live experience, I can schedule this for later. And then I'm going to get a link and I can send that link out and tell people when to join me. So I'm going to shut this off for now so I can show you how this works. But that is an option. You don't want private. Private means no one can see it but you. So even though you're thinking, oh, I want my video private though, it's actually unlisted is what we want. And then here, um, this, it's made for kids. I generally go with, no, it's not made for kids. And this isn't because I don't want kids watching it. This is simply because once I say it is yes, made for kids, it can no longer be put into playlists, which I like to categorize my videos into playlists. So if you plan to have students under 13 watch your video, then by law, you do need to say, yes, it is made for kids. And this means that there's no advertisements and you're not collecting student data. I'm going to say no, because this video is actually intended for an older audience. But if you say yes, that's fine too. And then you'll just have to go through the age restrictions and sign off that you're not including any advertising material in our video. I'm just going to hit next here. And notice here I am. <laughs> the video is going to start in a moment. And then I will simply start my live stream. So we'll give it one moment. There's my thumbnail. So that's how it's going to appear on my YouTube channel, and I can edit it that later. Um, great picture. You can tell I have <laughs> am off today. So I can also upload a custom thumbnail. So if you don't want your face as the thumbnail, you can just go grab a picture and upload it. Now, so notice how I am unlisted here. I'm going to go live, and I simply hit the go live. And you can see I am in my hallway in a moment. I'll also be on YouTube Live. So here I am. And if I want to have this going, I can get my link. I really recommend um, scheduling it, obviously, because then you can have people ready to go. But here's my link. I can copy that link and send it out. And then here's where I can have a chat. 
Um, you cannot moderate, so anyone has the power to post whatever they would like here. So sometimes that's why it's nice to do the live stream or the webcam option, and it is live, but this will record it. So I like this option. You can also just make video and then upload it to YouTube as well. But if you wanted to do something where people could join you, and that works well. Um, you cannot, if you notice, this is simply using my webcam, I cannot switch over and present my screen. So this would be solely to live video um, something with your webcam. Okay, enjoy. I hope this tool is useful for you. Thank you.